if you could wait a minute. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this afternoon. We thank you for that which was ordained before the beginning of time. Lord, even as we stand here to give our agreement unto it, we ask that the Holy Spirit will minister to each and every one of us. Lord, we ask that you will have your way here today. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We are gathered here to join this couple in a holy wedlock. Since we know that Almighty God is the author of the institution of marriage, we will not hesitate to do according to his word and by the laws of this nation. We understand that even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ sanctioned marriage by attending one in Cana of Galilee. There he said, that a man will leave his mother and father and they shall be joined to their wife and two of them will be what? One flesh. Now with that said, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Amen. That's a blessing. Thank you very much. You can go and get her and you may retire. Thank you, sir. Right here, stand right here, facing each other. <laughs> Take it easy. The Holy Spirit is in this place. One thing I can tell you is that you will be married by the time it's over. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. To the groom, do you take Sister Natalie working? Whose hand you are holding? Can you hold that hand, please? <laughs> Whose hand you are holding to be your lovely worded wife, solely promising, with God helping you, that you will be devoted to her and that you will be for her in all things, in riches or poor, in sickness or in health, since God by death shall separate you. If you do, then look at her and say these things that I'm going to say after me. Say, I, I, your name, do take thee, Sister Natalie Boykin, to be my lovely wedded wife, solve me and promising, with God helping me, I will be devoted to you, I will cherish you, I will love you, even as Christ loved the church, for better or worse, richer or poorer, sickness and in health, sickness and in health, Yes. To God, by death shall separate us. God, by death shall separate us. I think that picture is it. Till God, by death, shall separate you. That means you'll be here forever. <laughs> Amen. God. Now, Sister Matt, do you teach Brother, Brother, Brother to Marcus? To be your lovely wedded husband. That's what I'm talking about. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Amen. Then make his profession of faith, your faith to her. Say, I. I, your name. Boy again. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Submit myself to you. Submit myself to you. To be your wife. To be your wife. From this moment. Onward. From this moment onward, I will honor you. I will honor you. I will respect you. I will respect you until God by death. Until God by death shall separate us. 
shall sit with us. Amen. Glory to God. That's a blessing. Well, uh, I understand that you guys have vows that you want to uh, say to each other. If we can, what now that you are in a vow moment, if you can do that now, we will appreciate that before the exchange of the rings and uh, the sound. They have a microphone for you. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> it looks. It looks longer than that. She says, Marcus and Natalie wedding vows. Dear Natalie, never doubt when you wake up in the morning, I will be there to kiss you before I go to work every night before bed. Never doubt I will be there to rub your feet every evening when you get off work. <laughs> Never doubt that God can take something old and restore it to something new. Never doubt if you need or want or desire for anything, I will do anything I can to make that happen. I engrave your wedding ring, never doubt, because I thought this moment would never happen. Even though it has only been a, a little over a year, shaking, I was confident in my decision to marry you. Our relationship was never supposed to go past dinner. I just needed company and a friend to talk with. Never did I expect to find a soulmate. I fell in love with your spirit before your appearance, so as long as that part of you doesn't change, you will be the most beautiful woman in every room I am. Sometimes when I lack faith, I look into your eyes and kiss you and feel confident again. I was in a dark place before I met you. Whether or not I put myself in that place is debatable. All I know is when I ask God for a second chance, he sent me you. Once I realized you were my second chance, I was determined to keep you. Uh, most people who know me, or truly know me, might know I can be overly obsessive, a worrier, unnecessarily regretful, uh, despite my alternate personality that thinks I'm a celebrity and better than everyone else. <laughs> truthfully, I'm probably harder on myself than the rest of the world. The one thing I can say for certain is I never want to look back over my life and say, I should have married Natalie when I had the chance. Mm. The biggest leap of faith I have ever taken is definitely one worth taking. For the Bible says that a man who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And I don't know any man who can turn down that offer. From this point in my life, I vow to you and myself to be led by the Holy Ghost. Ask God for permission before performing any action. I vow to work on breaking any negative traits that I am aware I have. I vow to no longer dwell in the past and remain regretful of a past decision. Your eyes and your smile will give me hope for the future, and the future is bright. A great future requires present faith. If you can't put your faith in love, what's the point of having faith? So, as for those times when the marriage gets hard, we seem to be struggling with each other. Hopefully we won't have too many of those. I'm not expecting to, but if they come, my prayers, we look at each other, we look at our rings, look into each other's eyes, remember the vows that we made on this day, 2-22-2002, on a Tuesday at 2 something p.m. We <laughs> become united again. I know that as long as we remain loyal, put each other first, and above all else, under the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross, dying for the sins of the world, that we will make our marriage work. I love you. If you can't put your faith in love, what's the point of having faith? Hashtag and never die. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap for that. And I'm sure the cameras was recording that. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. How am I supposed to go? <laughs> so I wrote mine at the last minute, being uh, last night. Um, Cause he wasn't sure if he was gonna do this, so it's not gonna be as good as he is, but it comes from the heart. Okay, I just want to start off by thanking and praising you, God. Lord, you are such an amazing Father. I thank you for allowing us to make it to this moment. I thank you for answering my prayers. I thank you for keeping us in our right minds. In the midst of everything that is going on in the world, you still have blessed us with so much, Father God. If I had a thousand tongues, I couldn't thank you enough. Mm. 
As I was preparing to become your wife, I read a story in the Bible about a man that wanted his son to marry a young lady from his homeland. So he sent his servant to go find a wife for him. When the servant got to his destination, he asked the Lord for him to do something specific in order for him to know she was the one. And the Lord honored his request. So I said, Lord, if you did it for him, that means you could do it for me. I asked the Lord to have my husband say, beauty is your name. And that's exactly what you did. I needed more confirmation, though, and God gave me dreams. I needed more confirmation, and he gave me the number 222. Two, 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 which is a symbol of marriage, unity, and love, to name a few. So here we are today. Jamarcus Cordell Newton, you are the one that I have fasted and prayed for, for what seemed like an eternity. You are a lover of Jesus, calm, gentle, kind, loving, caring, affectionate, quick to apologize, and compromise. When I sat down years ago to think about what type of husband I wanted, and after creating a list of 99 things, those are the top qualities that I felt I needed the most. You are one of the strongest persons I know. When you were sick, you made sure I was okay. When I was there to care for you, you have not allowed sickle cells to stop you. In my eyes, you are a superhero for that. You are my personal comedian. I ask God to mold me into the wife you need. I promise to do my best to honor you, to submit to you, to cover you in prayer, and to fulfill my wifely duties. So I stand here today decreeing and declaring that we shall make it and honor God in our marriage. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of them. That's a blessing. That is such a blessing. That is such a blessing. Amen. Now, who's got the rings? Please. The token of the marriage. I need you to say this after me as you uh, put it in. Say, I give you this ring as a token of my love with all that I am, with all that I have. I honor you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now it's your turn. If you repeat, Repeat the same words after me. I give you this ring as a token of my love with all that I am and all that I have. I honor you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will, uh, we have a sand ceremony that we have to go through before the pronunciation. So if you take your wife to the table over there, as a grain of sand cannot be separated when mixed together, so will your marriage not be able to be separated. Will both of you take your sand and pour it into that jar, that empty jar, what you're doing is that everything that you represent, you're putting it together, and all of you are becoming one. Your individual beliefs, your Christian beliefs, the way you are brought up, you are becoming one, never to be separated.
may face the audience if that's okay. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, sisters and brothers, by the authority vested upon me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce them husband and wife. From today going, whatever you agree on shall be done by the Father which is in heaven. This is not just for tradition. This is two people getting together. Two are better than one. And as from this moment, the power of heaven is behind you. The Lord himself is behind you. Favor will be yours. Peace will be yours. The Lord will bless the fruit of your womb. With that said, I know you've been waiting. Now you may salute your bride. What you are going to say, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present unto you Mr. Tomacus and Miss Natalie Newton. Thank you. 